Let me put this right here. So have you been noticing things moving on their own uh, for no apparent reason, like something falls for no apparent reason? I was sitting in the house trying to drink my tea since it's really, really heavy out. There's like a, there is an enormously heavy dew falling from the sky, but I heard something fall. I heard something fall, so look at this. I walk over here and it's this wagon. It falls from sitting on this little row of wood right there. It's a little bitty roll of wood and it wasn't stacked very hard, high at all. And I'm wondering how did all that wood get knocked over just like that? As if something heavy was on it, just like that. Um, because that's strange. And I was in the basement yesterday, straightening up one other room in the basement. Then all of a sudden, I heard something fall. I go over to my pegboard, and you know the notches in your pegboard that they have a notch and the, the bar sticks out so you can hang something on it. Well, that was laying on the floor and I had something hanging on it, like a, a, a small socket um, extension set. And the bar was about like this long. And the pegs, they fit perfectly in the pegboard. I thought, well, did the pegs snap off and it caused the pegs to make that a uh, socket flip up like that or break it and come off the board. But no, I picked the peg, the peg thing up. It was still intact. The bar wasn't bent like downward as if, oh, you got too much weight on it, Gina. The tabs weren't broke as if you got too much weight on it. And in order for that to get off, it would have had to go straight up in the air. If you work in retail or something, um, they have pegs like that, but even if on a pegboard, and I'm sitting down there looking at that. I thought, well, that is strange. That's really strange. Because I was expecting for it. To, okay, well, maybe it, it, it broke. It broke. And that's why it fell. No, it didn't break. I put it back on the pegboard. Something took it off the pegboard. And then, let me see if I can flip this. I'm trying to flip it. And then, you all, uh, this is stuck on Zoom Up. And then... That falls right there. You know what? I should walk over there. I should walk over there and see what what's going on because that's a heavy wagon and it's been sitting there for ever since my husband leaned it up and we haven't been going over there getting wood because you know, just face it. Look at this humidity. This humidity is up to like, um, it's 90% humidity. Uh, and the barometric pressure, but it is so, the stuff on the porch is wet. This cushion is wet um, because of the permeating air. Let me ring this wind chime. There, how they like that frequency. Everything is wet. I'm sure the visibility is not good at all. The sky is completely white. Um, let me let me put my shoes on because I'm going to go over there and I want to examine that. Oh, I didn't get to see if somebody noticed that um, things falling or moving on their own. Yeah. Good morning. Ah, oh, you got a bad migraine. I am so, I'm so sorry you had that migraine. I really am because that's not nice. Um. Today's the day I go to the doctor. I'm gonna have my knee looked at, like on the back of my, it's like my right knee, right here yesterday. I couldn't bend my knees that well, but today I can, I can bend them. And it's really strange. I'm trying to look for a pair of shoes to put on my feet so I don't get my feet wet walking in the grass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, get these shoes on, because I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can see 
uh, why that wagon fell. It fell just like that. It, it fell as I come outside. I'm thinking, wow, that's really neat. You, you fall while I'm trying to sit there. I was, I was sitting there right there just looking and then boom, it falls and I wanna see it. And things moving by themselves. Now people have seen things move by themselves too in places that are kind of haunted. Now we got animals, we got raccoons and stuff. But you know what? Um, I hope we get reception out here, you all. I normally wouldn't walk out here um, to the yard like this. Um, yeah, but let's look at this. Okay, well, um, it's just that middle spot right there. Well, this right here looks like it's kind of leaning. Oh, it's really leaning. Wonder what happened. Because I don't think it was leaning like that before. Let's see the gap. At least it fell down nice and neat, but I don't think a rat would have made that do that. I really don't. I've seen pals fall like that before, but all of a sudden, and um, an animal, now I can be analytical and say maybe an animal got on that and made it fall. But it's been setting like that ever since I had got the load of wood the ricks of wood back whenever that was maybe a month or two ago and all of a sudden it wants to do that yeah and um i don't know it's just strange things no squirrels aren't heavy enough to do that the squirrels are small the only thing that would be in there would be like a cat maybe climb up on it um but yeah just like that but that's beside the point. That doesn't explain why my pegboard thing that had a small thing of uh, extension sockets in a thing hanging on it, literally lifted up off the peg, because you can't get them out. You can't just bend them down and try to get the peg things off your pegboard, the peg holders, um, because, you know, it don't work that way. They either have to break to come off or um, bend completely, and my peg didn't bend at all. It literally, it had to be lifted up straight up like this in the air, pulled out, and then make it fall on the ground. Um, yeah, your hedgehog has been biting and acting weird. I seen a comment, somebody said some, some type of birds what was the name of those birds they were attacking people and i don't know if it was on here or somewhere else but they were they were attacking people and um kites it what's 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 a kite it's like a i guess like a, it has to be a bird because they were explaining how it flew in the air a kite kind of a bird or something like that we're, we are studying um, um, something, a morgue. What's a morgue? Yeah, you've been accidentally breaking things. Um, uh, that's what a, whatever it is, a kite is. A magpie. Um, yeah, you are. Uh, I don't know what type of squirrels we have. I know in Maryland we had a... I think we had a, a total... It was either a total white squirrel. 
or a total black squirrel. There was one that came to the squirrel feeder. A morgues are non-terrestrial creatures found here and in space. Well, that would probably um, explain it because I do believe in interdimensional beings like that, that they do exist, even though we may not be able to see them. Uh, they can make their presence known. You've been lazy, no appetite. Um, they're moving things. Yeah, that's right. Somebody, something's moving things. And I've not done a video about this before. I haven't, but that was strange yesterday. Because that's a, those sockets are somewhat heavy if you had like 10 sockets, 10 extension sockets on a pegboard to automatically just pick themselves off there and drop themselves on the basement floor, make a loud, loud clanging sound to get my attention. Well, it got my attention and I just looked at it. And I looked around in the basement to see if somebody went over there to that pegboard and made that fall off of there. Uh, but there was nobody there and nobody would do that except somebody who would want to play games uh it, it is oh well thank you you all this is really interesting too because i don't think it rained last night i really don't um but everything has a uh, dew on it uh, enormous heavy dew and the dew is still falling and whatever else is falling with it up there in that sky, because this, this is really what it looks like. What you see here is the color of the sky. Um, we are supposed to maybe get some rain, but we didn't. We didn't get no rain at all. Even the sidewalks are damp from this heavy dew. See, this walk path is damp. I still haven't fixed that yet, you all. I've been... doing other things all it takes is me just sawing this bottom part off and putting a new one on i've got the piece but yeah oh this is gladiolas um uh thank you morg it's a lot of work has anyone been noticing that maybe well i've seen in here people haven't had an appetite and or have you noticed you've been losing weight and for no apparent reason, really, even if you haven't had an appetite. Or even if you've had an appetite, you're starting to lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird, too. <laughs> I've thought about, I thought about researching it, but I didn't say it. I didn't say it, you all. I didn't. Um... When I woke up, the last thing I remember in my dream state, and that's when I woke up, I was thinking about the, um, the interdimensional beings, the darkness and stuff. And I think something happened in my dream state, and I was thinking about them in my dream state, and then I saw myself smiling. Then all of a sudden, I probably shouldn't even say this on here, all of a sudden, my top teeth, they turned brown. I watched them start turning brown, the top part of my teeth. And I sat sitting there thinking, now they have the ability to, um, whatever's happening now has caused my teeth at the top to literally turn like brown, like a light brownish coffee. Um, and I woke up like that in my dream state. I knew I was dreaming and I was thinking about them in my dream state. And uh, I don't know what that means. I didn't have a chance to look it up, but I thought that's not very nice at all. It's not, um, yeah. Well, that's the only thing I remember in that part of my dream because I woke up from it. I saw my teeth literally turn that color on the top as I was thinking about them in my dream, thinking now look what they've done. They have this ability to do that. No appetite. You've lost 42 pounds without even trying, Donna. 
Um, my, I, I don't think I've lost weight, but I feel, I feel like I've lost weight just a little bit around like my waist. Now, granted, I don't eat a lot in the summertime, but um, I got on the scales and it said I weighed like um, 120, I don't know, 125 or so, which I, I could stand to lose some weight, but I'm thinking, but I'm not really trying to lose the weight. I am moving and rarely sitting. Um, everything moves because everything has energy. Yeah. The chairs, you just haven't seen it under a microscope. A microscope. Well, there was a movie. Someone told me about a movie. My mother said back in, uh, I don't know, around 40 years ago, a movie where in objects came to life. Um, and I said, really? She said, yeah, the, like, the machines, they're talking about the machines. Um, it was like in the future, the machines took over and the inanim inanimate objects came to life and they started attacking the people. Um, hello, you all. You're down to one meal a day. Thoth. Thoth Asterian. Um... Yeah. Good morning, you all. Oh, is that what that was? Maximum Overdrive by Stephen King. He sure got really popular. And I'm thinking, I didn't read any of his books, but I'm thinking, his mind. What on earth is in his mind in order to dream up and write about stuff so horrific. I guess his books were horrific. Some of them were horrific. And I was thinking the mindset within him. Yeah. Blind in one eye. Missy, honey. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh my. I think it's possible because I woke up and a lot of other people woke up with all that neck injury, neck stiffness of the neck and back pain. It all happened around the same time frame. It's like our bodies were um, attacked. If you, if you were to look at it as a battle, our bodies were all attacked in the dream state. Um, while we're by these, uh, I don't know, those beings that can invade you in your, when your body's in a certain state of being. Oh, I don't got no stomach cancer. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, yeah. If I had, if I had a stomach cancer, I think my, I would have other conditions other than um, that. I'd have pain and stuff, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, no, I, I, that ain't something I want to claim at all. There isn't. <laughs> it's not. Well, nine dimensions. Um, yeah, you haven't slept this much in years. Uh, your neck and back are terrible. Um, Stiff neck and chest, too. Let's listen to those birds. I gotta... Yeah, I gotta go run to a... To a doctor this morning. I thought, well, I'll let them see what they have to say. Probably nothing will happen since it's a first visit, since I rarely ever go to a doctor. I never went growing up, either. Not one time. Well, I did go one time to a doctor, and it was in elementary school. I think that 
I don't know if it was a, the nurse or the gym teacher or something. Maybe, you know, when they go to, this is weird too. You remember when you were younger, they were examining all the children for, you bend over for like scoliosis or something like that. You remember that? They would have people, and that's what they were interested in. I remember that when I was little, you'd have to bend over. They'd examine your spine. You put your hands on your hips. You, then you hold your hand straight out, your arms straight out, and you bend down, and they examine your back. You remember that? And then they look at your shoulder blades. Why did they do that? And I remember the school sent my mother to the doctor. Here I'm a little bitty girl. To the doctor. They do x-rays. And they said, oh, your child has scoliosis. And then I, I don't know if blood work was ran or something. And one time they said, oh, your child has sickle cell anemia. And I think my mother said, there's nothing wrong with my child. And I sat there thinking of my being, there's nothing wrong with me. There was nothing wrong with my back. Uh, there was nothing wrong with me at all. But I wonder why they were looking for that in all of the children why that one specific thing there must have been something that was occurring some kind of um let me close this because everything done in this house it echoes the ceilings are so high um yeah there was there yeah they were looking for something some kind of side effect of something is what i think yeah um So I don't know. Yeah, the spine check. I don't think they do that no more. And if they don't do it anymore, why not? Really, why not? Why was that time period a specific time to do the spine checks? Um, and uh, spondiot, I don't know. If you're just jumping into this video, you may see the title was, Have You Noticed Things Moving By Themselves? Um, and I was uh, talking about, I was just sitting on the porch, all of a sudden I heard something fall and I looked around and I didn't see it and I walked over here and I saw this, that wagon, I can't zoom up on it, but it fell on the woodshed and I thought, well, that's been sitting there for quite a while. It's like probably a couple months since I had the ricks of wood delivered. It falls all of a sudden and in the basement when I was cleaning in the other room, uh, something fell, a loud clang on my floor, and it was a, something from my pegboard that had uh, a, around 10 sockets on it. And those peg hangers, um, you literally will have to lift them up to get them off, and they had like an extension thing on it. Nothing was broke. It wasn't bent. The pegs weren't broke that go into the thing, and the, the extension wasn't bent, but yet there was those, that, those sockets laying on the floor. Something picked them up off that pegboard and threw them on that floor to get my attention. Um, yeah. So, um, let's see this. Um, they were checking. That's right. That's what it was. Scoliosis. I couldn't think of the word. Scoliosis. Um, yeah. I wonder if it was only in certain locations. Uh, is what I'm thinking. Certain schools, as of course it was in, is in the projects and stuff. Um, but then there wasn't very many. It was like the old projects in an older neighborhood at that at that time, across from the school we lived, right next to the library. That's the same place where I saw that UFO in the sky, uh, right above my head. And um, yeah. Let me see this. Um, your paper shredder fell the other night without rhyme or reason. Nowhere near it was loud and it was made zero sense. Uh, why do I need moderators um, on here right now? Uh, do we got moderators on here? Uh, do we need a moderator? Um, 
Well, our moderator has been trying to be more lenient, um, allowing for different opinions as long as you're not outright rude and, dis rude and disrespectful to me. Um, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we're trying to be more moderate about that. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, that's great, Jana. Jana. Yeah. Which is good. I. It took a while to get to this point. It really is. But that's all right, as long as you are not outright rude and disrespectful. Um, yeah, that's great. Um, oh, did anyone ever comment about the, um, the brown, the brown teeth in the dream state, what it meant? Because it happened all of a sudden, and I, I thought in my dream state, now they have the ability to do this to our body, too. I was sitting there thinking, I wouldn't want that to happen in real life. All of a sudden, I wake up, and my teeth are brown just like that overnight. Um, yeah. Um. Well, chocolate is a good stress reliever. Dark chocolate, I guess, um, something like that. Good morning. Um, well, I'm not a zombie. <laughs> They're not turning me into one either. No, I'm not going to be a zombie. Absolutely not. Oh, but you are right. That is true. They do. Um, no. Um, what, what was that person? Let's, let's remove your comment. Don't be talking like that on here. I'm trying to drink my tea and you're talking about stuff like that. Now, that. now that's totally inappropriate. I don't have that type of sense of humor and I don't think that's funny. I'm trying to drink my tea. <laughs> yes, you all. The past few days, your daughter has been looking directly at the sun. And she says it's not hurting her eyes. Wow. Has, um... Yeah. Christine, Penny's being mean to you. Um, Penny, honey, you being mean? I hope you're not. Don't, don't be, um, excuse me. Here's my glasses. Yeah. Um... Oh, thank you. I stained this whole entire house myself. Hello there, Deborah. Yeah. Penny is a red flag. Penny, you were not nice. Because if you've got... Um, boom. Mm, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah, no. That is uh, not nice, Penny, honey. Yeah. You trying to get us in trouble on here? Yeah, that's right. We are gonna get her. Um, Penny, honey, you gotta go. You, you weren't very nice. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about whether you are or whether you're not. Okay, we're not talking about any of that right now. This, was a, this is a serious subject uh, with things moving by themselves is what it is. Uh, for reason, things falling, and we know that there are interdimensional, um, interdimensional being, yeah, there's interdimensional beings that are um, able to come into our dimension and um, Seems like they're getting more bolder, a lot more bolder. 
because they too, you know, they know what they're doing. They are. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I stained this whole entire house myself. Me, myself, and I. Um, it took around a month. I even documented it on my YouTube channel when I was doing it. It was back ago. I didn't put all the videos of me climbing on the ladder at the tip of my house up there. That was a, that was the one part I did not like. But it, it took a long, long time. But it's okay. It, I like the colors. Time is out. Christine, you had... Yes! Have you all been feeling something touching you? Like Christine said. As if something brushes right by you. Or, and or touches you. Because I've been sensing that too. Feeling it. And I'm looking for like... If there was anything near me that would have it, um, yeah. Let me let me see this. Yeah. So um, the veil is thinning by the day. It's going to be wild um, decades. It's only 2022, and if CERN's going to operate at full double the power till 2025, we're in for a mer we're in for a roller coaster of a ride all the time. Um, at night, um, plays with your hair. Um, oh, that's creepy. They run your fingers down your back. Christ, people of faith with faith don't see evil things. We are protected by God. I know it's hard for the lost souls to believe and have faith. Well, that i'm not focusing on that right now okay i mean i'm not okay and i am saved okay i am that just because a person is saved does not mean that they're not going to s see into the spiritual realm because there's many people who have that gift gifts and callings are without repentance okay it doesn't matter uh at that point you know if you've got a certain gift you can i guess wish that gift away try to suppress it uh, you can. Um, so, no, that's not totally true, what you said. That's right. Um, what happened with the Georgia Guidestones afterward? I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, your hair and your legs. You've been seeing and things move. Um, hello there, Apple Brooks, honey. They've been wondering where's your moderators. Um, but I said you've been doing a really good job. We've been trying to um, allow more moderate comments with people with different opinions as long as they're not outright rude and disrespectful. Yeah, so that's wonderful. Um, yeah. I'm totally down, which really was strange looking at them. Um, morgues have in move inanimate objects and join with other morgues to form just about anything so with that morgues if they have the ability to transform just about anything so with that movie that where the inanimate objects came to life uh it was probably something like that that caused it and not so sci-fi technology but um those type of beings that did it um yeah that's the first time i've ever heard of the morgues Yeah, let me flip this around. You ready to go to a new earth? You may. We have to get past this earth first. We got to get out of this earth first to go to a new earth, you all. We do. A new rim. We got to get out of this one. Um, yeah. Well, now we're all going to be wondering what is morgues. I think that he um, has a, he's, he specializes on the morgues, which is really interesting. It is. The morgues. Um, you were looking for your glasses. You searched and searched your bag three times. You looked in your bag and your cars and your glasses. 
yesterday. They hide things and they blame it on the gin. Um, mm. That's right. Um, microscopic shape shifters. Oopsie. And when seen on the moon, they joined together and created gigantic copies of themselves. Wow. So, um, I'll just repeat it again. Have you noticed things moving on their own, things falling for no reason? Um, and sometimes um, we have noticed that throughout our lives, but it seems like it's becoming more um, frequent without rhyme or reason something falling or moving just to make their presence known and if and if and if this is happening more and we're seeing it more than uh, like someone a lot of people suggesting the veil is truly thinning between the dimensions um, I wonder if that's what CERN wants to do thin that veil completely where they can step into this world that we're in even if we've got our one world destroyed turned upside down um things falling or moving is the spiritual realm yep um, well everything is green right now and um these two trees were seedlings, well, kind of babies when we moved here. Everything else we planted uh, on this property. So it's been a lot of work. It's since 2004, we've been planting, you know, edible bushes and trees and stuff to make it look uh, more whatever. It's a, it's a wonderful habitat, like a sanctuary for the animals. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if links are allowed in here. I have no idea. You had a dog that chased the spirits in the house. Oh, wow. Um, uh, thank you, Lena. I really wasn't sure about the colors of this house that I chose. I, I knew I wanted this um, red, but then this color right here, they said it looked like a pumpkin, but you know, it blends, it blends in really well when the, the autumn comes. The house looks really nice like that. I noticed when I stained this house this color, it's a log cabin, I started seeing um, more people using this um, color sequence on their stuff too. It's a trend setter, you all, is what it is. A trend setter. Um, check out the videos that capture on our research channel. What drives me nuts is none, no one is reporting them. Wow. And probably they don't even want to let their mind go there. Um, that we do got a lot of distractions going on in the world, a lot of different things um, that people are talking about. Um, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to stay on here too long, you all. But that's all right. You know what's nice is you see the little, um, I think the brown thrashers, they like to come and drink off of that. And it's a, it's a good place because that gutter leaks right there. And it just drops in there and they have a, a nice place to like take a water bath and or get a drink of water. It's really nice. Um, Gina, hope you are well tuned in. Well, I, it would, um, 
be up to whoever you ask. Is Gina well tuned in? No, she ain't. She's done lost it. <laughs> That's all right, you all. That's fine. Yeah. You keep hearing things, Christine. Yeah, the trees are pretty. Lots of hummingbirds and stuff. Uh, you're so very welcome, Morg. And um, I don't think it rained. It didn't rain this morning. It didn't rain last night. But the ground, um, the ground still looks dry down there in the garden. And um, everything looks dry up here except for the heavy, heavy dew that was in this air. It made the stuff on the porch wet and damp whatever's in that air. Um. Bird calls that you've never heard before. Other people's voices in their thoughts, like partners. Wow. That's strange. It really is strange. Um. Yeah. At times I have been hearing um, voices from a distance. It's like um, I've been hearing when I sit on this porch, it sounds like it's coming from underneath the porch. Like a TV off in the distance and like a TV with a man's voice. And um, I know it's not from my house because our TV doesn't get turned on. And the only TV is in the one bedroom and we don't turn on the TV in the living room. And it's in the middle of the day. And um, I thought, well, maybe my neighbors down there way across the woods have their TV up so loud and I'm hearing it but I'm thinking, no, that can't be. And I'm thinking, you know, the other dimension does come through with um, the radio. The other dimension does come through with the radio and stuff. I've, I've had that happen before. Radio playing all of a sudden. Um, wonder how they get through on those uh, radio waves. Frequency, perhaps. Yeah, good grand, grand rising to you. My battery just, it's about going. I love classical music. I really do. I remember when my dad had, uh, he was staying here. He, um, during his final stages of Alzheimer's. And uh, we would have to take him somewhere. Take him for a ride because he wanted to go home all the time with that sundowners. I remember one night I thought I will take him. I will take him in the car we'll just drive around and I put on some classical music you know with the orchestra whatever and opera or something because it, it's it is peaceful at times for me to listen to it <laughs> I was driving around the car one night he said oh my gosh what is that awful music <laughs> I said I said you don't like that no I don't like it it was just you know I thought it was very melodious uh, there was a, a woman singing and a man singing, but <laughs> yeah, and my family doesn't really care for that type of music, but I, I really do. I like it. Um, at times, I'll just listen to it and just chill out. I don't know why I like it, and um, I um, like rap music, too. I do. <laughs> I don't I don't know why, but I, I like that. I just don't like headbanging music. I don't like that at all. Screaming music. And no, I can't get into it. I'm, I'm a mellow person. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you hear the distant radio on your toilet mention your son said, heard kids playing in the distance. Yeah, playing in the distance. So if you think about like um, like this uh, in the 
chapter, I think it's in the 24th chapter of Matthew, where it says, um, there'll be a time of distress unequaled from the beginning of the world and never to be equaled again, or a time of great tribulation, depending on which version. Um, and if those days had not been cut short, no one would survive a time of distress, terrible, terrible times that have never been seen on the face of the earth. Um, I don't even want to think about what you could see or what would happen. When I first started this, at, um, as that Nibiru system started approaching and stuff, there would be these beings that came up out of the ground. These beings, like, they come up at night. And um, I've heard this from other people, too. Cover your windows completely so that they can't see into your house so they won't people will not see coming from your windows don't go out at nighttime at all because of these beings and um i was also told to get like a like a mask with filters on it and things like that of course have a food focused on these beings that came out at night from the earth, which was kind of scary. Um, men's heart will fail, fail them from fear, yeah. Um, and that would have to be really bad. Even for the most hardcore um, horror movie, if you like to watch horror shows. Could you imagine if you're a person who likes to watch a lot of horror movies, scary movies, and you see something in real life and it even scares you? And it does not even um, compare to what you've watched. That would, yeah, that's that's very telling. Very, very telling. I don't think you could be desensitized from something like that. Um, even though someone may think that, you know, they're going to be desensitized. But I think something like that would even get their attention. And we're, we're talking about things moving on their own. Do you remember ever see that video about, um, it's, it's, um, like this senator or something reading a bill that was being proposed and he it kept saying classified classify it was talking about gigantic beings or monstrous like beings coming down from or coming up out of the earth he was describing what they looked looked like and it said classified it was classified all through it and um, it, it made its way around. I, I don't know what it was, but he was reading this bill that passed. And someone said, oh, it's, it's, it's uh, fake. It was fake. I can't remember the bill. Yes, flesh eating something. I can't remember the, um, the context completely, but I, all I remember is he was horrified. He, was, he couldn't believe, um, yeah. That's what they said. He was reading a report about they needed to prepare. You have that, Deb, honey? Oh, that's great to know. You could send that to me in my messenger if you have a link on that. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. Yes. That creepy, yes, testimony in Congress thought. And I'm thinking, was that real? Was that make-believe? What if that was real? And they made it look like it is so unfathomable to be real, too unfathomable to be real. Um, yeah. Gina, keep a compass near you and check it for the magnetic field shifting direction. Someone mentioned the less, um, they lost their plane flights. I, I did find one of my one magnets, magnets. My one compass is still in its package. I had bought some new ones, I think last year sometime I found one yesterday when I was cleaning up in my basement. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, oh, okay. Well, we can get rid of you right there. Yeah, Peter. Applebrook's, honey, did you? Um, yeah. Yeah, no. No, you're not going to come on here and um, come attack me and everybody else on here. You're not. You're gone. That's right. That's the wrong type of mindset to have. Yeah.
Apple Brooks, you saw it too. Um, the world is like Star Wars. Logic before authority showed um, the guide stones taken out by the lightning. Logic before authority. They did a video on me one time. <laughs> I can't remember what it was about. I might have laughed about it. I might have. Yeah. No negative energy. Um, yeah. I know I want to hear, some people may not want to hear about the paranormal, but it, it is real. It is real, and it's the spiritual realm is um, what it is. Um, it's real, you all. Oh, my gosh, you all, does that... I've been on here for 50 minutes. Time has flown, and I've got to really get off of here because i got to get ready for my um, my visit. <laughs> my, I happen of it at that initial visit. visit. Um, maybe nothing will happen regardless, but yeah, you, i got to get myself ready because i got to be there 30 minutes early. That's right. Um... Wow. Oh, uh, you all have a beautiful, you all have a beautiful day too. Uh, Christina, honey, you're so welcome. Oh, I will, I will, I'll stay safe. I'll take care. I want this body to last me a little bit longer here on earth. I really do. Let me set my uh, cup down. And um, I am going to go, you all. Yeah, this has been a wonderful chat. Uh, it is. It's been very wonderful. Uh, and thank you all, moderators. Thank you all for your comments. And, um, yeah, that's, that's contribution. It really is. Because people like to read the comments. I like to. I haven't got to read hardly any comments lately. I've been so busy. But I, I will go back and read them. I probably have time today uh, while I sit there in the doctor's office. Um, so with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you once again for coming on here this morning.